So I am presenting um, information out of a book by George Rawlinson, R-A-W-L-I-N-S-O-N, entitled Phoenicia, History of a Civilization. It's a very, very well-written book, and I bought it years ago. And I'm just looking here <clears throat> at different aspects of ball worship. Baal is also known as Moloch, M-O-L-O-C-H. Um, I guess I can read a little bit from it <clears throat> as an introduction. If you read the Bible, you will find this information also. He's talking here about the king of Tyre, who introduced ball worship into Israel via his daughter, Jezebel. The king's name was Ethbal, E-T-H-B-A-A-L. And his daughter, Jezebel, was married to Ahab, which was a son of Omri. And Omri was originally from the tribe of Judah, as far as I can discern, not Israel. <clears throat> Page 108. Ethbal was, as already mentioned, not only king of Tyre, but also high priest of Astarte or Ashtoreth. He seems to have been a religious enthusiast and to have earnestly desired the spread of the Phoenician religion into other lands besides his own. To effect this purpose, he married his daughter Jezebel, whom he had thoroughly imbued with his spirit, to Ahab, king of Israel, the son of Omri, the founder of Samaria. Almeri and Ahab were, both of them, bold and warlike monarchs, of a caliber much superior to any of the other princes who had hitherto occupied the throne of the northern kingdom. Ethbal may have hoped to gain political advantage from the alliance, but its primary motive appears to have been religious propagation. Why I say religious is because the religion of the serpent is legion. On page 109, it says, In the center was Baal, the sun god. A sanctuary was also assigned to Ashtoreth at Jezreel. Ashtoreth was worshipped under the form of an emblem rather than of a statue. The emblem, which was sometimes of wood, sometimes of metal, was called an Asherah, and it is thought to have resembled the sacred tree of the Assyrians. The Assyrians are modern-day Germans. Now, this is a topic all of its own, and I've talked about this before. I'm not an expert. I do not know exactly. There is much going on here in Germany. We've got the tribe of Dan. We've got <clears throat> indigenous Hebrews who have no idea that they are the people of Jacob, and we also have Esau here. The Swiss are um, a breed of their own. I don't know if they're Amorites or what exactly they are. But, of course, they're all wicked, and they all are ball worshippers. <clears throat> I'm talking about the governments now. Page 110. Hence, the Greek translators of the Hebrew Scriptures, confounding it with its surroundings, rendered the term by grove, which the Vulgate replaced by lucus, Whence the grove of the authorized version. Jezebel's 400 priests or prophets ministered to this idol in the vicinity of Jezreel and presented to the Israelites a form of religion which was so attractive to them that very soon the whole people fell away from the worship of, he says, Jehovah, but I would say the Lord God Almighty, and proclaim themselves votaries of the two new deities, Baal and Ashtoreth. To the corrupting influence this introduced the gradual declension and ultimately the fall and destruction of the Israelite kingdom is distinctly ascribed Second Kings oh dear seventeen sixteen through eighteen. Nor did the evil stop there. <clears throat> 
the daughter of Ethbal passed on the malign contagion of her evil genius to her own daughter, Atalia, a daughter worthy of such a mother, who became the queen of Ahatsia, monarch of the rival kingdom of Judah, and who took advantage of her position to bring Judah, no less than Israel, within the sphere of the final, of the fatal fascination. Now, since Amri was of Judah, and so was Ahab, they took over Israel. And then what they did was they went back and married themselves into Israel, excuse me, into Judah, and wanted to, um, and to take over Judah again. I don't know if you can appreciate what I'm saying. But Ephraim always had a king over Judah, and Judah had a king over Israel after Solomon's decline and death. And then what happened was Jezebel had a, da had a daughter, Atalia, who married herself back into Ephraim and started propagating with him. You see how evil they are? And you're only going to get this if you really, really read the Bible in depth. But let me continue. The terrible virus, virus by her introduced into the Jewish state, it says here, but we know that Jews are not Hebrews, clung to it to the end and hastened that end. Vain were the reforms of Hezekiah and Josiah. For the lessons of history to have their proper effect, it is necessary sometimes to penetrate into the dark recesses and to expose to the eye that fearful corruption which in various places has from time to time underlain the fair surface of society, like the ghastly horrors that are concealed within a whited sepulchre. Messiah said, within the whited sepulchre are dead men's bones. So let me continue. Page 111, the bottom. The... Um, Dean Stanley, certainly no bigot, observes that the change from the symbolical worship of the one true God with the innocent rites of sacrifice and prayer to the cruel and licentious worship of the Phoenician divinities <coughs> who are represented by the color purple was a prodigious step downwards and left traces which no subsequent Reformation were able to obliterate. 112 bottom. The Canaanitish Moloch, king, and it's interesting because in the German they have a verb, Molochen, which means to work hard. The Canaanitish king, Moloch, was not essentially different from Baal, but the same god in his terrible and destroying aspect, the god of consuming fire, the burning sun. This is why we have the global who smites the land with unfruitfulness and pestilence, dries up the springs and begets poisonous winds, sea wind turbines. When the prophet says, Jeremiah 32, 35, such as in the valley of Ben-Hinnom built high places of Baal, to lead their sons and daughters through the fire to Moloch. And again, the Jews, it's actually Hebrews, had built high places to Baal to burn their children by fire as a burnt offering to Baal. There is no mistaking the essential identity of the two. Besides the incense consumed in his honor, bulls were also sacrificed to Baal and probably horses too. I'm an, I used to be an avid, avid ob observer and watcher of international horse jumping and dressage. And these horses disappear. They just drop like flies into oblivion. Where do they go? Some of them are heart attacked, but some of them are burned in the fire to ball. <clears throat> the Persians at least sacrificed the latter to their sun god. But the principal sacrifice was children see abortion 
this horrible custom was grounded in part on the notion that children were the dearest possession of their parents and in part that, as pure and innocent beings, they were the offerings of atonement, most certain to pacify the anger of the deity, and further, that the God of whose essence the generative power of nature was, had a just title to that which was begotten of man and to the surrender of their children's lives. Can you imagine? <clears throat> the sacrifices were consumed by fire, the life given by the fire God. He should also take back again by the flames which destroy being. The rabbinical description of the image of Moloch, that it was a human figure with a bull's head and outstretched arms is confirmed by the account which did Diodorus gives of the Carthaginian Kronos or Moloch. Kronos means time. Kronos and Moloch are Satan. Kronos is the god of time. Father, time, Satan. His time is short. That is why they want a reset of time. The image of metal was made hot by a fire kindled within it, and the children, laid in its arms, rolled from thence into the fiery lap below. Voluntary offering on the part of the parents was essential to the success of the sacrifice. Even the firstborn, nay, the only child of the family, was given up. I'm on page 114 now in this edition. The parents stopped the cries of their children by fondling and kissing them, for the victim ought not to weep, and the sound of compliant, complaint was drowned in the din of flutes. Flute. Pan is also Satan. Pandemic. Pandemonium. Pan plays a flute and kettle drums. Mothers, according to Plutarch, stood by without tears or sobs, if they wept or sobbed, they lost the honor of the act, and their children were sacrificed, notwithstanding. Such sacrifices took place either annually or on an appointed day or before great enterprises. Great enterprises. Or on the occasion of public calamities. Great enterprises such as the conjuring of the manifestation of Satan on the earth or on the occasion of public calamities to appease the wrath of the god. The primitive custom is traceable in the myth of <clears throat> Theseus and the Minotaur. The Cretan monster with human body and bull's head. Why do they call it a papal bull? To whom young men and maidens were sacrificed, was the Moloch who had come from Phoenicia, and the overcoming of him by Theseus was the destruction of the bloody rite. So what happened here was the Cretans, the Cretans were originally Philistines. They went over to the land of Canaan, and they were also Sodomites. Look what King Saul says. Thrust me through with this sword so these Philistines do not come to me and abuse me. They also worship Dagon, which was the fish god. The fish from the sea, from the abyss. The Vatican is built over this abyss. Vat Ikan. Uh, what does it mean? I can't think of the word. I think it means divining the serpent. Vat e con, Vatican. The Cretan monster with human body and bull's head, to whom young men and maidens were sacrificed. See, Mozart, was the Moloch who had come from Phoenicia, and the overcoming of him by Theseus was the destruction of the bloody rite. Thus, too, the rape of Europa into Crete from Phoenicia 
through means of the bull was a symbol of the colonization of that island by the Phoenicians. Several months ago, I showed you my identification card for Germany. And I showed you that there was a woman on there standing in front of a bull. Thus, too, the rape of Europa into Crete from Phoenicia, Phoenicia through means of the bull was a symbol of the colonization of that island by Phoenicians. The bull on which Europa sat was the sun god and she herself the moon goddess Astarte. Now, I'm doing this video ad hoc, which I always do, without much preparation. But I do believe in the great leading of our great God, the Holy Spirit, the Almighty, the Creator, and the Messiah. This woman and this bull is the rape of Europa into Crete from Phoenicia. What does this mean? What immediately comes to mind is the bloody right, the abomination of desolation, abortion in the public square. And I do believe it is going to begin here in Europe. That is what this symbol means.